publishers are from Mars, content marketers are from Venus. Many people think that publishers and content marketers are very different, but they are not. And I am here to tell you that and why. My name is Kathy Greenler Sexton. I am the CEO of Subscription Insider. We are a resource for subscription businesses to help executives from those businesses run and operate subscriptions more profitably. You can find us at subscriptioninsider.com. So managing and measuring content ROI. If you're a marketer, you know the term paid, owned, earned. It's how you get attention in this world, and publishers know it as well. If you're paid, you buy ads. And this particular ad I, particular lo I particularly love, it's a copy for Coca-Cola reading, laboratory tests from the last few years have proven that babies who start drinking soda during their early formative period have a much higher chance of gaining acceptance and fitting in during the awkward and preteen years. Woohoo! Well, you can't believe everything that you uh, read, and we know that on the Internet, and apparently that was true as, as well for early paid print uh, advertising. But that is an example of paid advertising. Owned media is, is if you're a publisher, that is your publication. That's where you publish whatever you are an expert in. If you are a marketer, that is your blog. That, could, that is what you are using for content marketing. And the king of inbound content marketing is HubSpot a uh, Boston-based uh, technology platform geared towards content marketing. This is their particular example of their own site, of their own earned website. And then earned. Earned media is where you get coverage from other people. So if you're a publisher, it could be that other people are talking about what you're writing about and discussing. If you're a content marketer, hey, it's the same thing. It could be on the news. It could be in social media. Paid, owned, and earned, very important for both content marketers and publishers. And what's important is for both publishers and content marketers, guess what? It's important that they get the sharing and the mentions and the reposts and the reviews on the earned media, that they get the right response from all the advertising that they're doing to drive traffic to, to their sites, and that their web properties are popular. And right in that smack, right in the middle, is really the trifecta. Whether you're, you're a, a marketing company with paid content or a publisher, you really want to make sure that all three are working for you to drive home your brand, drive home your message, and drive home what is key to making you success. So let's take a turn to Venus, who for this discussion is marketing. So our marketing teams, they own typically the content marketing. And they use the content as bait to drive a number of different uh, things. They use news and info, white papers, blogs, webinars. They use a lot of different uh, tools, content management, marketing automation, sales, and analytics. And what they want to do, they want to drive traffic. They want people to register for that white paper. Then it goes into their sales funnel for marketing qualified leads, sales qualified leads. They want to have a meeting. And guess what? They want to have a sale. For content marketing, typically it's all about driving leads, driving the sales funnel, and, and driving the sale of a product or service. Content marketers know very well at the tip of their tongue, the conversion and their growth rate of all the content that they, they produce. They're very adept at that. And when you talk to marketers, whether they're B2B or B2C, they know what's working and what's not working. 
I have to say, uh, as you can see in this particular chart, that the B2C marketers perhaps uh, need to catch up with their B2B counterparts on, on use of the tracking uh, of their content in some cases, but generally they, you talk to any content marketer and they will know every article, every channel that that, that article is, is in and know what is producing the results that they need, which is leads and sales uh, volume and sales revenue. Well, let's turn the tide here to publishers. These are our, our Mars publishers. Historically, there's been a separation of church and state, as uh, we've historically said, and the editorial creates the uh, coverage of of whether it's it's news or B two C topic. Uh, like travel or B2B topic like the oil industry or medical news and information, the editorial just will create the best content they can for whomever their target audience is. And on the other side of the wall is revenue generation. And we all know that there has been a little bit of cracks in the wall with what we call native advertising, and the FCC has actually stepped in to provide some guidance on making sure that consumers know when they're being marketed to and it's not editorial. But I'm going to park that concept uh, and issue for the time being. For content in a publisher, they create content with subject matter experts, sources, journalists and writers, analysts and researchers. Their editors work uh, with them to create um, that editorial and they publish it out onto a wide range of, of platforms depending on what their, their business is. How do they monetize it? Well, they don't care about sales qualified leads. They are driving advertising revenue, subscriptions, licensing, training, and even events. Publishers use a wide range of different revenue methods to create revenue from the content and the expertise they have on a given market or subject. So the key performance indicator for a publisher, advertising revenue, as a great example, go from traffic, you wanna make sure you're having engagement, and you're going to be monitoring cost per thousand, cost per lead, cost per stick, cost per click that you're getting, and your revenue per thousand. And your advertising revenue is driving, is the key driven, key metric for advertising driven media companies. Subscription companies, traffic, engagement, conversion, and then the lifetime value. And a number of companies offer both, and you're tracking both of those. So a content marketer and a publisher are using many of the same tactics, content. They could be targeting the same audience. They might even be writing about the exact same topics to that same audience, but they have very different purposes. Our publishers, are trying to monetize that with advertising and subscription revenue, and our content marketers are trying to create leads and ultimately sales revenue. And increasingly today, they're colliding in the marketplace, they're colliding on social media, and it's tough for each right now to really understand who is, is doing what, and if you're a consumer, who do you trust? Whose voice do you trust? I'm gonna park that issue for a second. Who owns, and we're gonna go dive into for a moment and, and tackle just a quick operational um, outline of, of the difference between an editorial driven uh, company and a content marketing driven company. Number one, who owns and creates and manages content? Publishing, Mars, the editorial team. For Venus, it's the marketing team. But 
the marketing team, they're probably hiring writers who are journalists to write content uh, on their behalf. And increasingly, the content that's coming out of the marketing team for content marketing programs is exceptionally high quality. So that editorial team has a huge, huge uh, competitor in the market in terms of, of the editorial uh, quality. Who's driving the content revenue? Well, for publishers, it's your ad sales, your subscription sales, and biz de development. That would be, for example, licensing. For the marketing team, they're driving the leads. That's driving the sales discussions, which leads to sales revenue. What tools are they using? Well, the publisher is using content management systems, ad platforms, subscription management platforms, e-com, and even sales and marketing automation, where the marketing team is using some of those same tools but they are mostly using the sales and marketing automation uh, to really drive and track the results of the content that they've put out into the market via apps, via the web, uh, via social media. The ultimate goal and the difference between publishers and content marketers, monetize the content itself or sell the product or service. And really, the tactics for a publisher, produce great content, produce great brand, and really engage your target audience and really build your community. And guess what? For content marketers, they're doing the exact same thing. So if you're a publisher, you are really feeling competition from content marketers. And your content is not directly tied to, to their content is not directly tied to revenue or ROI. Uh, so you need to, um, the, the, the marketers have to establish credibility, which they don't necessarily have versus the publishers. They have to build that. And they need to create content that drives product sales. So where are the opportunities? For publishers, emphasize unbiased editorial content to drive the brand and engagement. Publishers actually are increasingly emphasizing that they're an independent editorial voice, that their content is unbiased, and guess what? They're also helping uh, their advertisers with their own content marketing efforts. So they're becoming a content marketing shop for some of their customers. For the marketers, they need to learn from publishers and really emulate the great content and really understand how to engage and build an audience and then leverage their existing expertise even more to make sure whatever they're writing converts to sales. So there you have it. The difference between publishers and content marketers, not that different, but different nonetheless and different in, in key ways for everybody to think about whether you are a publisher and need to emulate content marketing or you're a content marketer and you need to think more like a publisher. Both sides can learn from the other to be better at what they do. I'm Kathy Greenler Sexton. I'm the CEO and publisher of Subscription Insider. You can reach me on Twitter, KG Sexton, email KG Sexton at subscriptioninsider.com or direct at 617-401-7653.